so um, here is the story on how I survived Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> what is going on guys? I am you from YouTube. As you saw by the title of the video, yes, I am very lucky to be here right now. I do not live in uh, Texas, but if I did, I would not be here. Maybe. But, uh, if you guys are, are like, a uh, recent, like, news people, you probably know about Hurricane Harvey. Heck, even if you're not, you should probably know about Hurricane Harvey, because, like, it's all over, not just the news, but everywhere. So, um, here is the story on how I survived Hurricane Harvey. Well, it all started when, uh, I didn't go to school one day. Because I was going to go get my braces on the bottom. I, don't, I just didn't know what to make a video about. But now I do. So, how I survived Hurricane Harvey is on, like I said, on Friday, I missed a day of school. I'm in middle school now. I missed that day, so I went to the airport. And I took a flight to Houston. But they said... That, uh, it's gonna be an okay flight. Even though there was a hurricane there, it, like, just started. So, it wasn't, like, too bad. But, still, a hurricane is a hurricane. There's nothing to laugh about or joke around with. When we were on the plane, out of the 30 years, 30 years, that my mom has been flying on airplanes and stuff, she has never, never seen anything like that out of the window of a plane. So what happened to me and my mom is that we successfully landed in Houston. We flew like directly right next to the hurricane actually. We flew like over Mexico, you know we're in America. We flew like almost directly over the hurricane, directly next to the hurricane. And we landed in Houston. Our plane was like soaking wet. It was like a swimming pool in the shape of an airplane. Like around and stuff. But we landed in Houston and it was completely dry, like a desert. And uh, we parked in, I think, Terminal B and we had to walk over to Terminal C. And it was like a 20 minute walk, but it took us like 30 minutes because like uh, we went to the bathroom and stuff. We uh, got there, we were the, one of the last few people to board the flight. We were very lucky. So when we got on the flight, it was like someone got a 100 square kilometer bucket and poured it over Houston. It started pouring rain. Then, well our flight was from Houston over to Sao Paulo. Because like, uh, I get my braces in Brazil because they're a lot cheaper, a lot faster, and uh... I count them both. And like, in total, buying a flight, paying for a hotel, paying for another flight from Sao Paulo to Brasilia, and paying for braces is all cheaper than getting braces where I live in America. But, big, big however, uh, this happened. Once our plane started taxiing again, I mean, what do I mean again? There's a new thing. Once our plane started taxiing again away from the gate and started uh, uh, taxiing forward to the runway, there were about four planes in front of us. Each one took like a minute apart taking off. But uh, once our plane got on the uh, runway, I, I saw no planes behind us. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. There was nothing else behind us. No planes. No, not helicopters. I don't know if helicopters go to Houston, but there was nothing else. So we took off, and then the captain said that uh, he uh, made an announcement saying that we're going to have to fly over Miami. Instead of uh, flying south down to Brazil, we had to fly east and over Miami so we won't go through the hurricane. Because if we did go to Sao Paulo, our plane would go like literally directly in the middle of the hurricane. Say, this is Hurricane Harvey. Houston is right here. Sao Paulo is all the way down here. 
Our plan to get to Sao Paulo would have been like this. Directly in the middle of Hurricane Harvey. We successfully landed our plane in Sao Paulo. I am very thankful to be here right now. Then, uh, once we were coming back, my mom got a report on her phone saying that Houston Airport is officially closed. The whole airport. Terminal A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, G, H, whole alphabet. I don't know how big terminal, all the terminals or what terminals are in Houston because they don't live there. But whatever it is, all of it is closed. So I'm very thankful to be here right now. Uh, I do not know what I'm going to be doing with this channel from now on, but um, I'll try thinking about stuff. If you want me to do something, comment down below on this video what you want me to do. I'm very thankful to be here right now. See you guys next time. Peace.